So why don't we just start out in Chillaxin since you're there. We'll meet in Chillaxin. So leg loops at the knees, you remember that. <laughs> I am gonna mix it up and do a few different sequences with okay. you, but let's just start out here. Okay, great. Now, the, the knees for both you and I, they can go lower, but I wouldn't bring them higher. Do you see what I mean? They can come down one. It's okay if you're comfortable, but I wouldn't bring them up any higher, so they'd be too high. So this is okay, and then if we want to change for anything, we would bring them down, okay? But for me, this is pretty good, and I'm okay notching you. Let's just start out doing our little swagger from side to side. You can clasp your hands behind your head. Support the neck and see if you can actually traction from the occipital ridge away from the body. So you're pulling out, up and out, and then letting your heart point up towards the sky. Yeah, good. Slow it down if you can. See if you can get into like a nice rhythm wave, like you're moving through the ocean. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> You're gonna put the hummingbird down <laughs> and get more into like, you know, a little bit more of the tortoise energy. Let's see if you can get into the smoothness, smoothing out the edges, yeah. Now lean back more with your head. Lift your heart and lean back, yeah, there it is. And keep your hips heavy. There you go. So a nice long line of energy through the spine, arching at the upper thoracics. That's great, really good, Jacqueline. Okay, open up the arms wide, just pause. Wide straddle T. If you're sitting straight up and down now, right? Inhale here and then exhale, squeeze the leg loops, wrap your arms around, tuck in. So you're rounding the spine, pulling the energy towards your core, hanging out in floating childs. And now we're gonna inhale, blossom for star. So lift the heart, keep the hips heavy, long arms, long legs. Let the gesture of receptivity fill your chest. And then exhale, you're gonna squeeze and come back into the floating child. So squeeze around the leg loops. You're undulating a few times like this. Inhale, open. Take a breath. When you're ready, exhale, squeeze. Warming up slowly, open, expand. Exhale, contract and pull the energy back in. Let it stick. Okay, inhale and just come back to a T. So we keep our arms wide. We keep them wrapped around the swing. I am reviewing. I know you know all this, but then we reach forward for the leg loop. So reach up high as you can. It doesn't have to be too high. Just lengthen through the arms. So now we inhale and lift the chest. Now we're going to exhale and squeeze like, a, like the child's, but like a mini version. Inhale, lift. Exhale, squeeze. Good. Now this time when we lift, inhale, lift, we're actually pulling with our arms like a bicep curl and pushing our chest forward. And now exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lift. Go a little bit further. Yeah, you'll feel it in your hips, right? Exhale, squeeze. Really squeeze here so you're engaging the adductors. Now inhale, lift and expand and this time come a little bit for, more forward so your hands are going to come in front palms face me yeah so first this is skydiver so press your arms in so your chest lifts press yeah and then you can drop feet together mm -hmm. knees wide bend the elbows and hook so we just went through skydiver and then flying butterfly oh, you're so good mm -hmm. now i like to undulate here with my hips so i'm going to just Keep my knees wide. I just bring one foot up and one foot down slightly. Up, up towards the sky and down towards the floor and then um, switch. So it's just a gentle rotation and rocking of the pelvis. But it feels really good. Yeah, you got it. So smaller if you can. Just go slower and smaller. Yes. There you go. We want to get into all those little nooks and crannies. If we go too fast, we like run them over. And we don't get that opening. Okay. So then come back through center, neutralize, and just hang. Now to come out of it, what we do is we pull our feet down towards the ground, sink our hips back, let it, let the swing catch us. Yeah. And then hang out and chillax it. <sighs> just neutralize after all of that goodness. Let it integrate into the nervous system. Oh, that feels so good. Mm -hmm. 
Nice. Now I want you to focus on lengthening and tractioning the neck since you were saying the neck's been bothering you. Okay, so just pull away, making space in the cervical spine. Mm -hmm. So we're not doing much here, but the opening of the heart, right? So the front of the spine is getting that space, plus the lengthening through the back of the neck will really help release any tension that's built up there, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Let's come through our chill flow. We're going to come back to our YT. Inhaling. Exhale, childs. Tuck in. Inhale, blossom for star. Okay, now from star, you're going to squeeze the legs together. Below me, if you can, give me one. Yep. Squeeze the hands together and then lean back for namaste. So reverse namaste. So you push your legs down to pull the hips up and then hold on to the swing. Wiggle it into the waist. You were doing this when we came in, so you came through ladle. So from ladle, see if you can bring your hands to the ground, palms up. So you're pouring the energy out, right, through the fingertips. And then bend the knees. See if you can reach back and grab for your feet. Now this is one of the positions when the leg loops are a little bit high it's a bit of a deeper back bend. So we can always shift that. But if you're okay, just hold on to your ankles and let this natural bow shape happen. And then when you're ready, inhale, release your ankles, reach up, grab for the swing. Coming to sit, another big breath in, and then exhale down. Okay. Straight up. Yeah. So notice that we're creating space all the way through the side body, through the waist here. That's what's happening, just this gentle rocking motion. If we keep our hips heavy, if we're pressing our hips up, we don't get that. So the sinking, the, the, the dropping of our weight to let gravity do the work is starting to open up the side body all through here, that place that gets really congested, right? Mm -hmm. Let's do that, that whole sequence one more time. That was really great. Inhale, T. Exhale, Childs. Inhale, Star. Exhale, namaste. Squeeze. Reverse. Take a breath here. Inhale, reach up, grab for the swing. Exhale, let it drop into the waist. Head is pointing down towards the ground and then swing the arms down. Inhale here and then exhale, bend the knees, reach back, grab for the feet, come into bow. And in your bow pose, lift the heart, straighten the arms, press the feet away. We're just warming up, so don't go too far, just as much as the back is happy. When you're ready, release the feet, inhale, reach up, grab for the swing, pull yourself up to sit. Exhale, drop the hips and then integrate. You notice we changed planes and so we get that, that free high. That, that big head rush, right? So we take time to just integrate all that. And this is called freeze frame. We're going to press to one side and hold. And then we shift and hold. Yeah, you got it. So we're really lifting the hip here and pressing it to the side. And then the, lifting the hip. Yeah, the, the swing is actually kind of massaging and digging into the armpit on the opposite, right? So we just let that happen because it's stretching through the fascia and stimulating the lymphatic underneath the arm. So there we go. It's like a big stretch from toe to elbow. So, okay, great. So let's hang out here. Let's actually um, go through our dancing Shiva sequence. So since we're already in Shalaksana, we'll come back to the floating Buddha sequence. So I'm bopping around a little. If you, if you follow in the manual, we just um, went over number four basically. So now we're doing 4B. So we're going to inhale, reach forward and up, grab as high as you can. So this is the legs, leg loops. So when we started out doing child's pose and then we call this squirrel. <laughs> so from here, we're going to press the legs straight, press the arms and come into hummingbird. So chest step. Chest step. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got it. And then press away if you can. Press your arms straight. Mm -hmm. So see how my arm, my hands are level with my shoulders? Bring your hands down level with your shoulders. There you go. Yeah, beautiful. 
So just let that hip opening happening. And I just do tiny little undulations here. If, it, if it's not too much, you just drop slightly and then press up. So it's just, again, massaging out all of that connective tissue in the hips that gets really tight. Yeah, that's it. Just tiny little micro movements that will shift everything. I know, right? Everyone goes right over those and, and like runs it over. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bend right knee, roll into the outer top thigh on the left. So we just kind of scooch. Yeah. So point the left toes down towards the ground. You get that much on your thigh. Yeah, so this hip rolls down. Yes, there it is, that little adjustment, that was it. And then you can get the shoulder stretch by pushing that away. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And the more you just sink, right? You got it, you just mm -hmm. let gravity do the stretching for you. Really nice. Okay, so we're gonna do a roundabout, we release. Start bending the left, just roll onto the right, shift. Now again, press the arms straight, that right arm, and then square your shoulders to the side of the room here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I'm going to do one more roundabout and add on to that. So these, these are called lounging. They're like lunges, but we're lounging. <laughs> okay, then we bend the back knee. Okay, make sure this is on the top of the thigh. It's sliding a little over the knee. So just pull it forward a little bit more. Yeah, like that, exactly, because we don't want it to pop off. Okay, so we can just hold on like this. This would be like the easy stretch, right? And then we can bend the, bend the knee a little yeah, bit more. I think so. Yeah. It's a little for me. Yeah, so that's a big quad stretch. So stay there, just breathe into it. So five deep breaths is the magic number. In that time, the body starts to respond and open up a little bit more. There we go. Beautiful. Just let it feel good. Let it be comfortable. You don't have to go too far to get maximum benefit. And then it'll come in time. Your body will just naturally want to progress if we don't push it. Okay. Now from here, why don't we just release and come back? So we're going to do this three times. Okay. So take a moment to pause and chillax in. Whenever we want to integrate, this is our neutralizing pose. See, my hips just naturally shifted there. So whatever loosens up, we give it time to really um, seep into the muscle memory so that it will change. And then we come through lounging, left knee bends, roll to the top of the right. And we always hold on to the leg loops. They're our anchors in these poses. And then when we bend the knee, we can reach back and grab for the foot. Mm -hmm. Good. We can just lean forward. Just let that happen. If you want to go deeper. So to get it into the elbow crease, we have to sit more upright, which is a big quad stretch. But just stay where you are. It's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Breathe into that. So this is part of the dancing Shiva sequence. Slowly release, round about, hang out here for a breath, chill it out. Okay, so we're going to do that one more time and just add on to it. Whatever part you like to do, I'm just going to show you what the advanced sequence is. And of course, you could just do this all on one side and then all on the other. You wouldn't have to go back and forth, but it's nice to just warm up slowly. We hold on to the leg loops. We come into our lounging. You can do it with me. You're like, I'll just watch you. <laughs> okay, so the first one is called bow and arrow. So we just press arms straight, legs straight. But you're still so facing, oh no, so you're Yeah, you're facing it. to the side. Yeah, so press if you can. Yeah, there you go. It's like the splits on the ground, but... Nice. I just call it bow and arrow. Because <laughs> you can also do this one. So you can kind of bend and kind of split. If I straighten one arm, then the other, I get this like nice little side swing going. Let's try it. Yeah. So you just press one and then the other. <laughs> 